and let me remove the l.s as well here just uncomment the thread section now inside the thread now what we need here is a file output stream object I'm gonna say file output stream file output stream equals to null and we also need a file object so I'm gonna say file file equals to null as well so that is one thing over here next thing I need to do is go here create a file object by saying file equals to new file now this file object will be constructed from our external storage right if you remember I'm gonna say environment dot get external storage public directory this is gonna give me the pictures folder that I want I'm gonna say environment dot pictures directory pictures whatever you call it now this complete thing give this as as a string dot get absolute path take this complete thing inside dot get absolute path which is gonna give me the direct folder that is slash SD card slash pictures after this slash, I'm gonna put a forward slash here and I'm gonna I'm gonna put the name of the file that we have here the name of the file would be the URI dot parse the last part of the URL that is URL over here dot get last path segment so this complete statement generates the complete URL that we want to have for generating the file name now I know you guys are looking at this and you're saying what the hell have you written over here so let me just show this inside some toast or log cat over here I'm gonna say L dot M and I'm gonna put the file dot absolute path over here by saying get absolute path just to show you guys what gets generated remember environment dot get external storage blah 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 dot pictures this part of the statement gives you slash SD card slash pictures that's all it gives you and this part of the statement gives you the name of the file which is arrow.jpg whatever so I'm combining both of them and putting a forward slash in between to give me the complete file path which I have and I'm gonna show you that in the log cat right here so I'm gonna run this here so this time when I click download image over here as you guys notice the complete path is over here storage SD card picture slash 500 arrow TV series season 2 promo dot jpg so this is the place where the image will be stored and this is how you generate the name of the file that we want to store so now that you have the file object it's very simple you just need to open an output stream to this file object by saying file output stream yeah resource link now file output stream also needs to be closed so go inside the finally clause here and I'm gonna say if file output stream not equals to null again perform the closing of this thing by saying the same thing file output stream dot close and again this is gonna give an error so surround that with try catch remove the print statements over here and we are good to go so at the top over here <clears throat> what we are gonna do is as we read data we are gonna write that inside the file output stream so I'm gonna file output stream dot write so as you guys see there are two three several methods over here write one byte at a time write the complete byte array at a time write the third one now we want to use this one because like I said in fact like I showed you it doesn't read 1024 bytes every time every time you write inside the buffer you start at zero you write red number of characters that we have for example if it reads 736 characters the first time then write the buffer from 0 to 736 that's what you wanna do and ultimately our stuff is done so at this point everything looks great you can go ahead and you can return make success true over here by saying successful equals to true so that is successful is true in any other case successful will be false so that's the boolean that we have here so at this point let's run this and try to see if our image comes just click download images now notice carefully this download image it's called inside this button here the thread is started that's gonna save thread my thread is new thread new download images thread download images thread is a class I have over here that implements the runnable interface inside that there's a run method where I call this method download image using thread for the first URL which is list of images of zero that we have and here everything is gonna take place 
URL object is going to be constructed. We open the connection to that URL object. We open an input stream to read data. Then we create a file object that contains the name of the file where we will be saving everything. We open a file output stream to save data to that particular file. And while we can still read something or the other from the input stream, we keep writing to the output stream. That's exactly what we are doing over here. So let's run this and see if our image gets downloaded. Click run here at the top. So now as I hit download image button over here, there is no indication if something happened or not. But we could go here to our pictures folder and see if there was something or not. Let's go back to my pictures folder here on the device, the file manager. Let's do one thing. Let's throw all the exceptions out and find out if there is something going wrong because I'm sure there is something which is going incorrect right this time. L dot M everywhere in all the try cat statements and then we will see what is going on over here. So it's mostly a permission exception because we are writing to the file storage without the permission for write external storage. So again let's click download images, click run at the top. The first image by the way if you go to the strings.xml is an image of arrow so we should see that image otherwise there is something going wrong so let me expand the log cat just to see what is going on and now let me click download image over here java.io.file not found exception open failed exs permission denied and as just like i said there is no permission given to you to write data to the external storage so we need to go to the manifest and add another permission over here which would be copy pasting this and saying android.permission.write external storage. So this will take care of having our image. So at this point click run again, go to our app. So you see there are many things that need to be done and I'm going step by step so that you guys can see everything that goes wrong and then make everything right. And here you go here again. Now this time you hit download image. And this time there is no sign of any exception. Now we don't know if the image is downloaded because we don't have any progress bars running of course which I'll be showing you how to do that as well. But going back to the pictures folder from here, just click main for the pictures. There's our arrow image, just, just click on that and bam, there you go. Let me show you the image right here on my, this our arrow image downloaded from the internet just now in front of our very eyes. So that means our download images app is working but this is just the head start because there is no progress bar, no indicator, nothing. So let me delete all the images from my pictures folder and show you guys exactly what is going on. So now I have completely cleared my pictures folder of all the images so that we guys can automate this stuff further. So the next thing that we need to do is go to the main activity and now instead of just downloading something static it's time to download something dynamic. So here there is a list of images of zero that I have taken, right? So that's not what, what we are going to download. Every time the on item click is there, edit text gets set to some image that we have, remember? So we are going to download that particular image. When the button is clicked, that is this method will be called download image here. We are going to get the data out of this edit text, which is going to be to string. Now this is going to be the URL that we have over here and this URL is going to be passed inside this new thread over here and we are going to make the modifications by going here making our constructor download images thread that takes a string URL and it simply goes here and says private string URL URL and then it downloads that particular URL that we want here. So everything looks great right now. So we have our button over here. That is the method getting called. The URL is extracted from the edit text. The thread is being created here. And then that creates our other part of the code which implements the runnable interface. Here we have the run method inside which we call download image using threads with the given URL. That means that URL is going to be passed over here and everything else works great. But you see this app is completely not user friendly because there is no progress bar, no indication, nothing. So slowly and steadily we are going to work this out to add everything that you guys are looking for. 
So we have come a long way from start and we have come all the way where we have downloaded the image successfully on our SD card along with the name of the file being properly set. However, this app is completely not user friendly. The user is not even aware that the image is being downloaded. We need a progress bar or something that shows the user what is happening on the screen, right? If I were you, I would uninstall this app right now at this point because this is completely shitty. So in the next video, we are going to take a look at how we can use progress indicators or something like that to make this work even better. In the meantime, if you like what you saw, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to our channel, support our channel in every way you can, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Tada. -bye.